Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she went over into the tomb, and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carry him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We continue meditating on the figure of Mary Magdalene, the first one to proclaim the resurrection of our Lord. Mary Magdalene and hope in the resurrection. Mary Magdalene, upon seeing the empty tomb, wept. Her pain was deep, and at that moment, she represents the sadness and the uncertainty that we all face in difficult situations. Yet, in the midst of her weeping, there is a value lesson for us. What can we learn from this passage? What can we learn from this moment when Mary was confused? She didn't know where they had took their Lord. The poet Tagore reminds us, quote, Weep, but let not your tears prevent you from seeing the light of the stars, end quote. In another words, even if we face pain, illness, or difficult situation within our families, within our countries, within our cities. We must not lose hope. Christ's resurrection is our greatest sources of hope. Just as He conquered death, we also maintain hope in the resurrection for our loved ones and for ourselves. There is eternal life, and we must maintain this hope. In Mary's, Mary Magdalene's encounter with the risen Jesus, there is a profound revelation. Jesus said to her, I ascend to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. In these words, we see that Jesus reveals to us that God is our Father. We can call him Abba, Father. We are sons in the Son, adopted by the divine grace. This truth filled us with consolation and reminds us that we are not alone in our struggles and sorrows. We have a Father. You have a Father. You are not alone. God knows your problems. God knows everything you're going through. You are not alone. May this truth inspire us to live with hope, to trust in our Heavenly Father, and to share the good news of the resurrection with others. Christ is alive. <laughs>